Sean Bailey. Speaker, an incredibly impressive Stroud constituent called Sally Ann came to see me about the contaminated blood scandal last week. Her father is haemophiliac and is sadly affected by what we now know is a, a national and international scandal, and families have spent decades seeking answers and compensation. Now, Sally Ann has turned her pain and worry for her father into action. She's doing a PhD to look at the wider impact on families uh, and looking at the McFarland Trust work. Now, I know the Leader of the House is. Um, incredibly respected uh, on this issue. She's fought for victims of infected blood for many years. Will my right honourable friend clarify how I can best use time in this House to push for issues for the wider families and whether a debate or other actions will assist? Can I thank uh, my honourable friend for all the work she is doing to support her constituent, but also uh, to ensure that uh, uh, the, those affected uh, and infected by this appalling scandal uh, get justice uh, swiftly. Um, and uh, I would certainly say that uh, she, if she can secure a debate on this, I think that would be most welcome and well attended by uh, many across this House. I've said this before, but I think we should recognise that even though uh, as a percentage of the population, we're talking about a small number of individuals. This is relevant to everyone in this country because what happened to those individuals could have happened to anyone in this country, and how we respond to that is very important, which is why I'm pleased that this government set up the inquiry, which is why I set up the compensation study to run concurrently with the inquiry, and why we must ensure that uh, we press forward with getting these people uh, some recompense for all they have suffered. <laughs>